What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fab and man, Eric Sheets Aver. We are going to be talking through today's Friday NBA slate. And uh, Sheets, it's February, and I still can't seem to get a win. Talk to me a little bit about your night. I, I, I literally, if I play someone, they're either being ejected, they're fouling out, they're getting hurt, they're doing something wrong. Uh, last night it was Mitchell, who was I was very heavy on. Um, how did you do? Talk a little bit about it, and then we'll jump into tonight. So. Well, for me, it was a tough, tough. Uh tough approach because as you know, I was going out yesterday. So I, I put in what I could and then I try to change some stuff as I could. And so I, I, I missed all of the news. Um, we, I, we were going over this this morning, just now before we got on here and I said, Oh, and I saw Derek, uh, Derek uh, Jalen Brunson was ruled. I said, yeah, that was early. I'm like, boy, in my life, that wasn't even early. Uh-huh. I, was like, I, was, I had already put my stuff to bed before he, before the early news even came out. So, I mean, I had a couple of did okay. I mean, like you're looking at one in the middle. This one with 326, I think it was in the single entry. I mean, this, this was this this was decent. This had Donovan Mitchell in it, you know? So this Ooh. is a, yeah, this one. I played Garland and Mitchell together in this one, um, which is usually not uh, not optimal, to say the least. But this one had Jokic, uh, and it had Nee Smith, who obviously smashed. And so this one was nice. And listen, this was, this was one... Mitchell won one guy away from from taking this particular tournament down. This was my this was my big buy in. This is this is my alley oop. So we can embrace we can embrace this one. So the good news is is that I had Valanciunas who was on the winning lineup, um, <laughs> but that was pretty much. And I, I imagine Saldama must have been on the winning lineup too. And I I, I guess that Neesmith Smith was probably in the winning lineup. I'm just yep. guessing. Yeah, all three. But I, get, I guess um, you got three Mitchell, right. Le, Mitchell Levine, Levine at. At three X is not quite going to be optimal, I don't think. <laughs> um, and Butler at two X or whatever he was is not particularly optimal either. So uh, I, I uh, and so I, I missed what happened with the Golden State and all this stuff. So um, I, I did enough. Oh, look at me! Look at you! You uh, you beat me here. You had seventeen points higher than I did in this thing. You and we both you, we I, both had the Mitchell here. Click on mine. Cracked, you can see you what I did. Top, you cracked the top five hundred in this thing, man. You're a freaking genius. <laughs> you click, on, click on click on mine. Yeah, let's see. Let's see the let's see, what, let's see, what, see what I did wrong. Well, I had um, Mitchell who got ejected. Obviously, that hurt. Luca, what happened? Did he get hurt or was he ejected? I, I just saw that he was out like at, right after halftime. He had 50 at halftime. So Luca was going to put up uh, 7 million. <laughs> right, right. Felt good by sticking with Kaminga. Like I didn't end up getting into the other stuff. I actually liked my lineup. I like my lineup here. I'm not going to, I'm actually not going to make any excuses or justifications. This is a totally fine lineup if there's anything maybe it's it's a little too high owned but honestly in the big buy-in with with Luca and Kaminga both being you know and Luca looked like looked like there was no way you could win without him I mean he had like I said he had 39 whatever in the first half the first quarter um he was gonna end up with somewhere around 90 or 100 I thought but so be it. We move on to today's slate. Uh, and the good news is we still, we still have we still have look golf is still is still churning away here. Nice. Going, Look at this. Going into date, going into day two, we have, uh, we have. I'll show you. I mean, we have like all kinds of. This is like in the in the lottery. We're in third and eighth, and you know what I mean. We, we had all we got we yeah. all kinds of possibilities here. Even with the will, what did he? What did he have? Yeah, he, he shot. He had like a. What did he shoot? Like a ten or something? I don't know. But he, yeah, he's like in fifth or eighth or something. I don't know. He's in. No, there. no, no. Will Gordon? He he shot. He ended. He he was eight under, and then he ended with two holes to go, and he ended the day three under. Yeah, I don't know what happened. He had he had a he had a five over hole. I don't know which one. Yeah, that's not that's not particularly enjoyable, especially if I have an out rep bet on him. But we'll yeah, see. I mean, he was looking he was looking beautiful for a minute, yeah. but still looking good, man. Even with that, even with that, golf's rough. All, All right, right so we'll let's, get into today's let's, slate. Let's pull we'll up talk today. Tonight. What's that? I said no. Let's pull up today. I've got it. Yeah, let's let's. So do we, it. so we have so we have some news right off the bat, which uh, uh, regarding a De'Aaron Fox, which is going to be a big deal. Um, but what's you want to just go game by game and see? Uh, see yeah, let's go game by game. Yeah. So, all right. So with with the Portland Washington, um, look, uh, I, I I mean, Eubanks is a is a like I don't I don't know what to do here exactly to be honest with you. Eubanks, I'm actually shocked that he's not projecting better. Um, both he and Watford are strong plays, obviously with no Nurkic. Do you need to play big against Washington? I guess that's the reason why it's a little bit of a concern. I, I mean, I do really like Eubanks for what it's worth here. 
Um, and I'm sort of shocked by the projection. I, I can't get over it a little bit, but I do like Eubanks. I like Watford. I think this is the kind of game where you could play a lot of these other guys, whether it be Hart. Grant is questionable, so we're going to have to wait and see, but we'll, we will know before lock. Um, and on the other side, I have nothing on Washington that's interesting at all. I have nothing on Washington, um, but I agree with the Watford and Eubanks. Um, but I also like Lillard as well. Um, uh, you have three or four spends uh, tonight between Jokic and B. Lillard and, and and Tatum, for example. Mm -hmm. I have Lillard just as high as in. Well, actually, that's not true. I have Sabonis in and beat a little bit better, but but um, Lillard just keeps on keeps on keeping on. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what to tell yeah. you. Now I, I do think that he's better. Uh, usually better at home. I would rather play him at home, but but uh, uh, nonetheless, hard to deny what he's been up to recently. So if I, I would love to have a Washington guy to run back if, to play, if I was going to play Lillard. Um, so, and I don't really have one, but just in and of itself, I think Lillard's a fine play and uh, Watford and Eubanks is, is, is the Watford Eubanks something where you don't want to play them together or it doesn't really matter. I think that I probably wouldn't want to play them together. Okay. But I think, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but there's, there's going to be other stuff today. It's a big slate. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't overly worry about it. Um, but I, I do think that you want to play one of those guys right off the bat. I'm kind of kind of surprised by the ownership projections here. And and by the way, if Jeremy Grant's out, Josh Hart, Anthony, Anthony Simons, and Lillard are all even better plays. And Gary Payton, the, the second, might be back in our lives so as a as a tournament play. So just keep an eye out for Jeremy Grant. But but uh but as of right now, I, I think Eubanks is being way under projected, and I really like him. So. Okay, so this game, this is, this is this is revenge central, right? Right. I mean, like these these teams basically swapped players last year. Um, you have Sabonis, you have going back to Indiana, you have Halliburton, Halliburton who's not going to play. Well, that's the problem, right? So so Halliburton against his old team, but he just played thirty six minutes, kind of unexpectedly, I would think. Um, yeah, coming off the injury, and I'll just put it this way, man, they're going to have to. I mean, they're gonna have to sell him and why he's not playing. But um, I guess they just won't play him. Uh, no, he's been out. He's been out for like a month and a half. He's hurt. He's been hurt. They, well, they shouldn't play tonight. Like any any logical team wouldn't play him. I don't think. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't think you can play him tonight. I, I, I mean, I don't think he can play tonight. There's no way. Okay. They um, brought him back for specifically. You know, they brought him back for the one game, and then they're gonna. I, I would be shocked if if Halliburton plays. We're going to bring him back for the one game. Why wouldn't they let him play against freaking Sacramento? Because it's a back-to-back. It's a back-to-back. No, I know that. But why, if they were going to have him only play one of the games. What well, was the Lakers at home? It's kind of a big deal. So. too. I guess so. Yeah, the um, one time of the year. But, but okay, right. so 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 uh, Davion Mitchell at 3K, if he starts, uh, maybe even if he doesn't, uh, very, very strong play. You have Malik Monk, 4,800. Uh, he'll probably get some more shots. Um, not that he needs them, but. I mean, well, I mean, he yeah. always, did, right? um, but, but Malik Monk, Harrison Barnes has been doing pretty well. So he's going to be in play. Sabonis is obviously going to be in play. I mean, Fox, Fox not being there just creates just a lot of usage. Um, so I like all those guys. And on the Indiana side, like you said, um, just watch to see who's playing. You know, if, if, if Halliburton is out and, you know, that, then we're back to, back to again, like who's starting, who's doing what. Neemhart, Neesmith. Neesmith's been been legit, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, is it is it oh, TJ McConnell, 16th? They made him 6,900 now, right? Um, so we have to wait and see. I mean, I, I agree with you. I, I don't think that they're going to play uh, Halliburton. It'd be kind of annoying. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would actually play him if they played, if they played, but. Nonetheless, uh, really, yeah, I would. I just would. I don't know. I, mean, I know it's not the right thing to do to play him, but, but um, anyway, yeah. I, I don't think he's going to play either. Uh, I like, but I like Nemhart. I like. Uh, I'll, I think I'll like Nemhart. Nemhart, Nee Smith. They're both under four K. I mean, that's that's pretty pretty strong, and that's pretty much all I had. Well, you know, you always have to consider um, Matherin as well, right? So those three guys on the Indiana side. Uh, Sacramento, all the guys I mentioned, I think is a very logical stack to to make. 
Yeah, um, this definitely feels like the the stackable game at you know at first look. Um, like, look, I, I'm not you're not going to get 40 out of Neesmith again, probably, but he's 3600. I I don't really know how you can just ignore that. Um, and he's, I I mean I don't know. Like it it's it does feel a little chasey considering that we've seen the situation so many times and he hasn't gotten there. And I actually am like the Neesmith guy, but I literally did everything in my power to get off of him yesterday, which was really silly. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, like I, I would start with, I actually think McConnell is completely fine at 6,900. I think it's a fair price actually. Um, assuming that he starts, of course. And then I would, I would play him with one of healed or Matherin uh, think about Turner. And then I would play the other side of this from the popular plays. I do think that Mitchell is like, reasonable like cashy play i don't know that i I would use him in tournaments i really like monk i think that it's a huge boost to herder and barnes and i would be siding with the herder who's going to be lower owned i promise you he just always is and uh obviously sabonis so i think this is a really nice game stack if you wanted to do it the problem is you're going to be pretty chalky with it um although i'm not sure how much these indiana guys end up getting owned um then the Nemhart, uh, McConnell. I actually think McConnell, like McConnell, I think is being under under projected. I, I do think Nemhart is the best play on Indiana, and I think Nee Smith would be just after him as third. So there's a lot of ways to stack it, um, but this definitely seems like a game you're going to want to get at least a few players from, even if you're not stacking it, no matter what. If they for some reason go back and start Duarte again, I would try him also, but. Um... Mm-hmm. But uh, not if they're going to keep him on the bench. Yeah, the only thing a little nerve wracking with all these Indiana guys is like there's just a lot of them. There's still a lot of guards they can play. So right. that's the only thing you have to keep an eye out for. All right, you ready to move on? What do you got next? Uh, Charlotte's Detroit? I do. Um, Start it all up. Right. All right. So uh, LaMelo at 9,700, I think is, is very reasonable. Um, right alongside of those. Well, we'll talk about Harden later, but 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 have him right there with Harden and and uh, and Lillard as as a, as a decent play. Um, remember, you don't have any of the super studs tonight, so this is these are the going to be the you know, some of the higher projected uh, higher projected guys. Um, Detroit again, Alec Burks just keeps showing up as kind of like an okay point per dollar play that I don't know if I want to play. So for me, this game, it's it's weird. It's like a 240 total. So you kind of want to do something. Right. Uh, but I don't know exactly what that's going to be. So you can play LaMelo. You can always play LaMelo, I suppose. Um, and that's pretty much all I had. Yeah, I, I like I, I, I do like LaMelo on on the Charlotte side. I like Jalen McDaniels because you're going to have no um, – you'll have uh, – why can't I think of his name right now? Um, you'll have no, uh, Gordon Hayward on the back-to-back, um, most likely. So I do, I do think that, that Jalen McDaniels is a really, really good play at 4,700. So I, I have McDaniels and, and LaMelo as, as being the guys I, I'm going to skip the Mark Williams thing tonight, unless somebody's out. Um, and then on the other side, I actually like Ivy a lot here and Duran. So I think this is another game where you can get a lot of exposure. It's a rare slate where I'm like, I really like the early games. So this the between this and the Indiana Sacramento game, I think this is where I'll have a lot of exposure. I really like Duran and Ivy at, at low ownership. So those would be two plays right off the bat that I would I would be really heavy on. All uh, right. Okay. Is there anything else from that one? No, I want to remind you gotta remind me to talk about the All-Star game. Um, oh, okay. Talk about the All Star game. Why not? I, I want to talk the All Star game right now, actually. So, okay. so are there are there um are there uh I want to find props. I want to do this right now. Actually, I can't do it because when I'm on Zoom, but I want to find props on winning the uh winning the uh the MVP. Okay. Because um, I got I got one for you. Remember, it was one that we, it didn't work out a couple of years ago. See, so actually, I don't think you made the team. Remember, I was going to play um I don't remember this. I was going to play Zach Levine to win the uh. The, the all-star MVP. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, it was my Tom Chambers play. So like when Tom Chambers was back on, on Seattle, um, he, he got like the late, the, the late, like uh, 
uh, what you call addition because the game was in Seattle. Yeah. And they basically let him play like every freaking minute and he, and he, and he, and he won the MVP, like kind of going away. So I thought they would do that with Levine when it was in Chicago. Um, so with that being said, I, I want to play Laurie Markin into an MVP at like 8 million to one, if I can get it um, with the game being in Ooh. Utah. So wow. I'm going to, yeah. So I'm going to take a shot at that. If in fact I can get a line. Um, so uh, Love why, that. Not? why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Savvy. Um, you want to talk about Phoenix, Boston, but I, but I think it's a really good call. Yeah. Do I want to talk Phoenix, Boston? No, but I will. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm with you on this. <laughs> uh, Tatum's 11,000. No, thanks. Um, I don't literally have a single player in the top. It's almost, I, I really have to even see if, if I forgot to project these guys. That's how. That's no, how they're, they're no, they're, they look bad. <laughs> yeah. They look really bad and I'm just not going to play anything. Yeah, as of right now, I don't I don't have anything either. If you wanted to throw in Jalen Brown, I have no problem with the price. But honestly, Saric is probably my favorite large field tournament play. And even that I wouldn't get to because there's other value on the slate. So I'm not not very interested in this game. <laughs> Ready to move forward. It's a, yes. you know, I guess a good life, real life game. But So Orlando, Minnesota. So is there any chance that we can know, like, at any reasonable period of time, whether Rudy Gobert is playing or not, like, and not wait until, like, six minutes before the game time? I mean, yeah, I that really, would be nice, huh? I would really appreciate that. Well, I'll tell you what. He's hurt. Take it for what you will. He is definitely hurt. Um he, so put him on the DL, get him better, and be done with it already. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to 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 salvage the worst trade in NBA history, and trying to make it look better by by letting him play. By letting him do what? By letting him like? I don't know, man. Struggle, it, right? It's like it's like no, it's a, it's a really good question because obviously if Gobert's out, you have to play Nas Reed. It's not a question. It's a it's a it's a fact. <laughs> like nope. I, I saw some people complaining the other night when Nas Reed had like three in the first quarter because he had a couple yeah, okay. of something. Yeah, he ends up with like what 45 or whatever. The hell yeah, they complain because they'll end up he'll end up not getting 60, he'll end up getting 45. Right? Yeah, you only want a 10. You yeah, he's only gonna 10 X. Like it's not quite enough. Um, yeah, that's that's the automatic play if if Gobert is out. But like honestly, I don't know if we'll have that news. And you're right, it's a fair question. Like it's a fair point. Like we should know about that kind of stuff earlier. It's frustrating. And at the same time, like you have a very, you know, interesting game to set. Like Anthony Edwards has been unbelievable. 9900 is rough though. But look at his, look at it, look at the game log and tell me it's rough. I mean, every, every, every game is a six handle, right? I mean, like, yeah. you're right. Like it's, uh, especially when Go Bears out though, because the lane is wide right. open. And I keep pointing that out. Like both. So you, I think that you'll want one of Edwards or Anderson with Nas Reed if Go Bears out. Um, and if Terrain and Prince is out, it's even a bigger boost. And on the other side, like you have all these very affordable Orlando guys. The problem is there's just too many of them. I believe in Orlando's future. I think this team is going to be a team to contend with in the East very, very soon. Wow. Um, but I, I, I'm having a hard time like pinpointing one play. Wagner's price is too low. Carter's price is too low. Ba Bancaro's price feels too low. But there's just too many of them. And then you have Suggs, who's going to start getting more minutes soon. For me, I would I would probably side with the Wagner play in this matchup and maybe Bancaro. Um, but this is another game that feels very stackable. Uh, probably my second favorite game stack outside of Indiana. Um, I think it's I think it's a really really good game to stack if Go Bears out. If Go Bears in, everybody rates to be just fine. <laughs> but if he's out, the lane is open. It's every it just makes this game have real shootout potential. So I, I do like it, especially if go bears out, but if he's in, I, everybody is like just a good play. Not, not, not anything spectacular. I still like Wagner a lot <laughs> for what it's yeah, worth. Yeah. I mean, the Orlando guys fit kind of the middle lean builds, you know, you Bon share with 6,800, you even play Wendell Carter at 5,800 if you want Uh Wagner, like you said uh, at 6k. So that's the good thing about that, you know, is, is that it fits that type of bill, which, you know, I like. Um, in general, um, mm -hmm. they pull. I don't want to say a fast one on me, but I don't. They 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 announced Wendell Carter questionable for his last game, and and immediately all the projections from all the Orlando bigger guys. We all thought he was out, right? Yeah, and so I had all these builds with like all kinds of like bowls and 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 uh, and and and, and, and the mm -hmm. other Wagner, uh, the the Mo Wagner, right? I had yeah. Uh, 
Maritz Wild, and all these guys, and then they're like, "Oh no, he's starting." I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Once you give me a break, right? Um, so that that's one good thing. Um, Minnesota, like you said, if uh, Gobert is out, we go to Nas Reed. Duh. Um, what else can I give you? Not much. Uh, go if Gobert plays. I mean, it's not the worst play in the world. I mean, again, it fits that. It fits that type of thing, you know. Uh, it fits that that middling, uh, that middle, that mid range. So, I I would actually play Gobert if he's if he's playing. Yeah, the only thing I would caution people about Gobert is that he's left three games because oh, of this right. injury. So, yeah. the the groin thing is not is is no joke. Like, if this was not them trying to stubbornly prove a point, I really think Gobert would have would have just been on the DL. You know, and also, you know, you have Jaden McDaniels who plays like a billion minutes. Um, if you want to stack this game, I think you can play him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the guy you mentioned, I mean, guy just keeps doing it, man. I, uh, Kyle Anderson's a good basketball player, you know? Yeah, he is. And, and they sometimes run stuff through him. They put him at the high post and they just feed him the ball and then he gets assists and he, and he does whatever and he gets into the lane. He's, he's, he's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, and absolutely. I totally agree. And the sooner they get rid of D'Angelo, like D'Angelo Russell, like is probably a decent tournament play tonight, but th- this guy is probably the worst basketball player who plays over 35, 30 Who's this? A game. D'Angelo Russell. He's oh, just, okay. terrible. he's a, he's a terrible real life basketball player. Is, and, he, wor- is he worse? Than, is he worse than Trey Young? Yes. Okay. Wow. That's saying a lot. Because Trey can actually do things at least. Right. Okay. Like, he's like Trey Young with, it's like, it's like a, he's like the poor okay. man's Trey Young. Something like um, that. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's a fun game. Um, what do you, what are your thoughts here? Now we, we, we move over, which one do you have next Philadelphia or Toronto? No, I have Toronto and Houston. Okay. So let's go to Toronto then. Um, this is a really good matchup. Like, uh, Boucher is a tournament play. Precious is getting up there in price. I do think Siakam, like he lost a little bit of his value with Precious at center. I really think he was getting, you know, he's having his huge games when he was playing at center. Van Vliet, this, this is a good matchup for all these guys, and none of them are going to be especially high owned, except for maybe Van Vliet. So I, I would say that, 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 that they're all decent plays, but it's, you know, when you get into the Knicks on the other side again, um, I don't know if I want to go back to it in this matchup. I feel basically like I'm probably going to stay away, but I could argue for a game stack here. What are you, what are you thinking about this game? You know, I was watching a little bit of the Houston game, uh, their last game. <laughs> Kind of towards the end and it was interesting is that listen I, I i one thing that's kind of cool when you watch the nba and nba league pass is you get like kind of the local announcers which is kind of it's kind of also cool like when you watch baseball um to see like it's like so mm-hmm. funny like 80 years into communication you still have like just atrocious local announcers with like the like the local biases and stuff like that it's oh, shocking to me get it. you know what i mean like oh that's the kind Oh, you know, like rooting for you, whatever it is. Um, yeah. But I was watching the Houston game, and you know, just some comments that I was hearing out of my ear, and I had to take a look at it. Like they were, and listen, one thing about the local announcers, they know the team is pretty well, and they were commenting that this Houston team has been playing tougher, and and specifically tougher defensively. Like they've been, um, they've for whatever reason been just kind of, kind of like getting a little more, more dirty, and like playing a little harder. Um, again, this is, I don't know the stats behind that or whatever, but. It seems as though that that seems to be at least the appearance of it, um, because it was interesting. also Toronto has been horrible. Like Toronto is one of the worst teams in the NBA. Well, right now. the only reason I mentioned is I first looked at this total. I saw two twenty four. I'm like Toronto, Houston. That's like an easy over. You know what I mean? What the hell? Yeah. It's just that my opinion of these teams. That's what ha- happens. But then I started to think about what uh, what the guy was saying. Um, with what's his name out remaining out, um, Jalen uh, Green. Green and Tate and, and I'm sorry and Porter. And possibly um, Jabari Smith also. Yeah. Um, you know what? A good had two straight games in a row, man. A freaking Eric Gordon had like. A, I, mean, I don't know if I can go back and do that. But, well, but they're running. I mean, the offense is running through him right now. That's what I'm saying. They want to make him a little bit like kind of a playmaker and playmaker. Uh, playmaker Eric Gordon. I don't know. Could 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 be somewhat interesting. I guess it's like more like kind of basketball speak. I guess than anything else, but. Mm-hmm. As far as far as fantasy goes, uh, yeah, for Toronto, Siakam and Van Vliet, I suppose, um, makes sense. And I still have uh, Knicks as being a good play. 
I uh, have him. I actually have him a very similarly projected to the way he projected the last time. The only difference was last time there was like no other value, right? So he right. was like, I play, you know, you just had to play him. Here, there's like other guys. Um, all the Sa- all the Sacramento stuff where you get to San Antonio in a minute, the Portland, you know, whatever. So I don't I don't think I would go back to him either. He could have a good game, but remember, you know, you need to have do better than a good game. You know what I mean? At, at their right. game, you really have to have a good game. You have to get like you have to start with 30, you know what I mean? Like to win right. the tournaments we're playing. Um, so uh I'll, pro- I'll probably end up being off of this game. But listen, if, if there's no Jabari Smith and there's and there you know, obviously there's no Jalen Green. You'd have to think there's somebody that would benefit from Houston. Can you? I don't think you could play Tara Eason at 5,800. Um, KJ Martin, I don't think you play 5,700. I think they just kind of priced everybody. How 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 awesome is it that Sangoon is 9K? Like in general, you know what I mean? Yeah, I actually, I actually <laughs> was going to say that if if there was any weird thing to do, it, the the problem is they're both centers. Is the Sangoon and Siakam are both kind of interesting to me tonight? But, but, we, but we legit, you legit had us playing him at like 3K last year. You know? I know. <laughs> But not only that, I was also beating the drum that he was Houston's best player, and no one right. seemed to want to hear it. Right. <laughs> but he is. He's 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 offensively an, a wizard. He had, he is going to have a down game here and there, like he did last time out. Um, this price is completely fair for the current situation. Everybody just seems about right to me. I I, I do think Scotty Barnes, Van Vliet, or Siakam, any of those guys are fine. But I, for me, I'm off this game mostly. So let me ask you this. Um, we go to San Antonio and uh, Philadelphia. Really? Um, you have Josh Richardson and Malachi Branham, both projected to be 30% owned in a 6X uh, multiple in a game that is like a 10-point spread. Um, what do you do with that? Uh, that's, that's, I guess, my first question. I mean, I see, I see, look, I see Davion Mitchell from Sacramento. Then there's Richardson and Branham, like the next two. Mm-hmm. Um uh, that's question number one. Uh, I also have kind of a, a weird 3K guy, uh, not weird 3K, but a weird play, I guess, is Isaiah Roby for San Antonio. 3,100 is kind of on my board. And then on Philly, yeah, I mean, if you think that um, this game can hang in there, I mean, both Embiid and Harden could have, not both of them, I don't think, but but one of them could have a really, really good game. So, hey, you want to go ahead and play the guys I mentioned on San, on San Antonio throw in Pirtle just for the hell of it, you know, and and play and and run it back with Embiid or something like that. Yeah, yep. I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I I uh, I really like Embiid as a spend up today if you can get him. That's 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 pretty much my notes from this game. Uh, the 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 value from I do I do think that Houston that San Antonio likes Branham a little bit. Um, if you want to play him, I'm not going to fault anybody for it. It's just not my play personally. Well, you could get him because all the value is not at center just today. Like, you know what I mean? Right, like right. All, all these guards. So you could easily do that. Oh, Embiid. Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying I was just talking about on the other side. Like, I I do think Branham is in play, but I, I'm not going to play him at like 40 percent ownership, which it will be if he continues to have this type of projection. <laughs> um, but I do think he's a he, Branham and Embiid are my two my two notes from this game. All right, so if you didn't like any of that, you get a 240-point late-night hammer game. Um, not an island game, but it's 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 9 p.m. And there's, like, nobody that projects that you want to play them. Um, so we'll talk about that. Trey Young at 9,400, I think it's, I think you almost want to – I don't want to say force him in, but I, th- I think between him and DeJounte Murray, I, I'd love to play this game somehow uh mm-hmm. clarkson maybe i guess he'd be my mm-hmm. favorite yeah clarkson um, yeah can't play marketing because he's resting for the uh all-star game mvp run um <laughs> you know, he's not really resting obviously but um uh walker kessler by the way was a really good play he's a good time. player man i've been saying this yeah i mean he did well and and he's you know he's boy oh boy that that see that's that's his line that's his smash line you know, 30 minutes, you know, bunch of dunks, blocks. you know, rebounds. Like seven, seven blocks is a little rough, you know, to, to, but, to he can, but he's like an incredible shot blocker. <laughs> like he's okay. really one of the best. Why is it that Utah always seems to generate them? You know, like from, from, from I don't know. to whoever, you know what I mean? Like it's like uh, maybe the, uh, 
the uh, the altitude. Yeah, and Gobert's down like a block and Gobert, a half. Left Utah. Uh, Gobert's like the third best rebounder, uh, the third best uh, block, <laughs> not blocker in Utah. Um, so uh, I'd like to play this game. Uh, Clarkson, Trey, uh, I just don't know who to play. Yeah, I'm with I'm with the, I I actually do like Clarkson a lot. Um, I'm I'm good with Markinen also. I, I I think this is a game where if you know I, I like the first game, the Indian I like the Indiana game, I like the Orlando Minnesota game, and then this would be the the game that you kind of maybe want to force some pieces in because of the game environment. Um, I think Dejounte Murray will get some ownership. I don't think Trey is going to have any ownership at all. Wait, 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 wait. What about what about Laurie Markinen? I like Laurie Markkinen. Yeah, I was, I was, I was trash. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with Mark. I, I like Markkinen, Clarkson, yeah. and then Trey would be my next pick along with John Collins. Um, and I think that you have a really nice, you know, a really nice game to choose from. This is a, it's not, it's not the biggest slate, but it's a nice, interesting slate. There's a lot of, a lot of options. But I, I think this game, you, you really, I don't want to say you can't go wrong, but like everybody, I mean, while nobody looks like you need to play them, everybody looks like they're very, very reasonable plays. And this is a great game environment to try to attach yourself to. So I like the idea of Trey, John Collins, and then on the other side, Markinen and Clarkson. You, you know uh, what? Okay, oh, sorry. No, no, no. I'm just gonna say, but it's just a matter of weighing them against the Orlando, Minnesota, and then uh, the Indiana game. You know, I, I brought up the All Star game just to talk about Larry Markinen, but there's another thing that we have to talk about, which you usually you usually on top of a little bit or either earlier or later, maybe it's later. Um, we used to think about the guys that got snubbed from the all-star game yeah. as, as guys, I, I don't know who that is. I didn't really go through it, uh, but, but it's probably something that we should look at. Like if in general, general I always try to look at that stuff. I don't think that there's, it's weird though. Now, like nobody gets snubbed. I feel like, oh, is that, okay. Okay. well, I just feel like everybody's in, like, I don't, I don't know. You okay. know what I mean? But like, are these guys like, actually, like, does anybody really, I mean, even Trey, like, can they, can they, even if he wasn't playing, like, can you really make an argument that you think that you really deserve it that badly? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Like, well, not, was, these guys are not particularly rational. I mean, you know, like, uh, yeah, you could say I, I didn't make the all-star team and now I'm going to put up 50 points. You know what I mean? He's not going to like, sure, sure, sure. I don't know. Especially okay. if you got all in your hands, every possession. I'm just bringing up, I don't know if Trey's the example. Is he not on the all-star team this year? I actually haven't looked at the All-Star I have team. no idea, right? Yeah. All I know is Lowry's on the All-Star team. That's it. Yeah. Only yeah. guy I know for sure. I have a feeling LeBron might be on there, but but I know that Lowry learned. No, I know, I know I know most of the guys who are on. I just I just can't off the top of my head re- re- recite the whole thing. Um but yeah, I mean it's it's either way, it's it's a good spot for all these guys. Um and I, I really think that's that's where you're getting most of your stuff from is the Atlanta, Utah. Indy, Sacramento, and then the uh, the Orlando, Minnesota game. At least for me, that's 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 the way I'm prioritizing. I also do like the the Detroit. I, I like a couple of guys in the Detroit side in that Charlotte game. But that's sort of my my general rundown. And obviously, we'll be live at six to go over any details and everything like that. But you, um, you like um some clarity. You share on. you want to share any of your of your uh, spread picks yet? Do you have those up there yet? No, I haven't put anything up there yet. I, I have no, I have no feel for nothing stands out to me right away. So I'm going to have to actually look a little deeper. Kind of looking through here. Let, let's, let's, let's take a look at some of these futures. I mean, just happen to be on the site here. Yeah. Anything stand out, like knowing what you know now for like champions or anything like that. I'm just like looking here. Oh, I'm, kind, yeah, of in, I'm weird. kind of in the mood. I'm kind of in the mood to throw something in there. Um, Maybe, is, I, is, I think is, Memphis is, is, Memphis. is too underrated. Um. Yeah, Memphis. I feel like is as every bit as as I said before the year. My pick was Philadelphia to win this the title, and I felt very weird about it because it has sort of breaks all my rules. But I they they've they they were what forty something to one not long. Really, really? Yeah, because they. I mean, they were five hundred basketball team, and now they they're on now they're on fire and one of the best teams in the NBA. Um, I really liked them before the year started. It's crazy that you can't get better odds on the Warriors, but I really like the Grizzlies. I think that's a really hard team to beat in the four out of seven. How about, struggling. I mean, I know this team is probably a little bit, a little bit weak, but defense wins championships, man. I mean, Cleveland 25 to one. I mean, that's, I, it's kind of rough yeah. to see, but, but it's kind of rough to actually envision the NBA marketing machine getting that home. But, uh, right. I don't know. Donovan Mitchell's a player. You know what I mean? Like he's a guy that can 
Lee can get behind a little bit. Sure. Or you could just do the same thing. If Luca's team's ever 30 to one, just right. bet on Luca. Right. You know what right. I mean? Like right. that seems to be the other, the other logical way to go. Cause they could still make a move, you know what I mean? And get things uh, done. And, and by the and, way, uh, like guys I, get I, injured and Luca doesn't. So I, I kind of no, like the I, idea. I, I, I have the answer. I have the answer. What's the I answer? Want, I, I'm going to pull up the standings. I just want to make sure that this team is actually. Oh, not, how many teams make the playoffs? Eight. Ugh. But they're all the same. Everybody after the five seed is the same. Every, every sorry, everybody after the, the the basically the four seed is basically the same. They're all they're they're all within two games of each other, three games of each other. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna take a shot at the the the, the thirty five to one with the Lakers. Just just because. but they're not thirty five. Oh, are they thirty five to one? Thirty five to one. It's pretty good. I actually think it's reasonable. I mean, who's who's that great in the West? There, there. That's the thing is the West is completely wide open. Uh, Denver would be the answer, but okay. the West I mean, is pretty wide open. And I think that uh, I think Memphis, the weird one, uh, you know, the the one that, that that stands out a little bit. Well, I feel like they should be worse. Is the Pelicans? They've really struggled. They've they they lost what eleven in a row or ten out of eleven, uh, Western Conference. I know, um, but I'm looking. I'm looking at the Knicks now at 250 to one. Hold on. 250? I think that's what it said. No way. That's what that says. Oh right? my god! Wow. Hey, I mean, 250 to one. You could talk me into 250 to one, and they're they're officially in the playoffs right now. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll take any. I'll take anybody at 250 to one. Um. Wow, that's pretty wild. I didn't realize it was that far back. That's Dave Lillard. You got Dave Lillard at 150 to one. Yeah. No interest. I, I'll put them. Uh, I'll put them at negative odds to make the playoffs. Miami Heat at forty to one. Yeah, the, honestly, that Knicks one is kind of alarming. Why are they two hundred fifty? I'm gonna to have one? to try that for like fifty dollars, right? Just like <laughs> put like twenty bucks on it, man. That's exactly. Nice. Exactly. Yeah, that's nuts. Anyway, uh, it should I'll be a fun game. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This one, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. I'll split this with. Oh, the, there we go. I'll split this with the people. I'm gonna put in for fifty. And and if, if this wins, I'll I'll put something towards a uh, towards something for the towards the- something. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to everybody out there. We'll see you guys live at six Eastern um, to go over the the live stuff. And uh, yeah, hope it's a good day for everybody. I'm probably going to take a week off of actually playing because it's just been too brutal. I I just can't even put a lineup in anymore without knowing someone's going to get hurt, injured, or ejected. I'm sorry, hurt or a uh, hurt, uh, foul out or ejected. Excuse me. Um, anyway, sheets. Anything else before we get out of here? Yeah. Um, a couple of things. First, I want to. I want to revitalize. I want to revitalize. I just never vitalized it. I just did it for like a week. I want to start putting up. Maybe after the All Star break. Um, but maybe before, whatever. I want to start putting up those. Um, those those uh, two DFS contests. The NBA. The NBA. Uh, the 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 DFS contests. Um, up yeah. there. I want to start doing more of that. Um, and I also uh, want to reiterate on here that if you haven't started to get in there yet, check out the the Better Takes Discord um, within yeah. our within the site. Um, we have a lot of information on that about what that is. Uh, it's more of a it's a you know a sports betting thing that we that we're working on. Check that out. Yeah, I've been um, talking to you guys quite a bit about that, um, yeah. and I think that it's it's worth checking out. And also, it's it's done a really really good job for me uh, in my NBA bets. Like I, I really. <laughs> really really has 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 helped me realize that I'm incredible with over unders and I'm very good with the Western Conference is basically what I know. <laughs> nice. From and, that. The, and there was the, the other thing was that um is that uh, these are these are things that I have to like mention otherwise I'll just forget to do them. I, other things I want to go back to doing is 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 like a live sweat from time to time. I've just been I'm so busy and so tired honestly. Like from I've had very I've had, honestly I've had just very very long days just because of other stuff that's been going on yeah and I really just I don't have you know just don't have it in me but 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 if I if I put it out there to you guys maybe I'll maybe I'll remember to do it you know yeah let's let's try and do one next week I think it'd be a fun yeah, one yeah. next week by the way <laughs> next week I'm 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 in Virginia Tuesday and Wednesday oh, okay I'll be, back, I'll be back Thursday okay um, but, but yeah we'll 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 find a time to do it and and the When's the All Star Game? It's probably it's the, it's the following week, following. following weekend, following Saturday. Um. Okay, I guess that'll do it for now. Those are yeah. my announcements. Good luck, everybody. Later.